Our Father Cares, a daily YouTube devotional with Christian Bredahl and the Shepherd's Call team. Join us for today's devotional thought. Good morning. Thank you for joining us here at Shepherd's Call Ministry. I'm Christian Berdahl, and we're so excited you joined us for our AM devotion. Before we begin, let's have a word of prayer. And I just want to uh, encourage you, uh, because sometimes I forget this at the end, I want to encourage you that uh, on Sabbath and on Sunday that you stay in this Word and uh, continue your study and then join up with us again on Monday. So we can only do Friday today, and then we'll catch you two days from now. So let's have a word of prayer before we begin. Father in heaven, thank you so much that you've pulled us through another week. And Lord, we ask that you would bless us as we embark on the beautiful Sabbath day you've given us. I pray that you would restore us and may we spend time with you and maybe guard the edges of the Sabbath as well. We ask that you would bless us now as we read. We need the Holy Spirit, Father. So please, uh, may he be our teacher this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. All right, so... Opening the Mysteries of Redemption. Then opened he their understanding that they might understand the scriptures. Luke 24, 45. So he opened what? Their scriptures. understanding so they yeah. might understand the scriptures. Awesome. Yeah. So the Lord wants every one of us to have a deeper, richer experience in the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. He desires that we shall grow in knowledge, not earthward, but heavenward, up to Christ, our living head. How high, how great is this knowledge to be? To the full stature of men and women in Christ Jesus. That means we're supposed to grow all the way up into yes. that stature of Christ. That's right. We cannot grow too much. We cannot gather up too many precious rays of light that God sends us. Hmm. Wow. That's awesome. So you can't get too much of a, of a good thing when it's referring to God's Word. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Who wants to read the, the next there? Yeah. Richard? Okay. We know falsehoods are coming in like a swift current, and that is just the reason why we want every ray of light that God has for mm -hmm. us, that we may be able to stand amid the perils of the last days. Oh, how Christ longs to open before us the mysteries of redemption, he longed to do this for his disciples when he was among them on earth, but they were not far enough advanced in spiritual knowledge to comprehend his words. Hmm. He had to say to them, I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now. Oh, how much better could they have borne the terrible ordeal through which they had to pass at his trial and crucifixion if they had advanced and been able to bear the instruction of Christ. Shall we not let Jesus open our understanding? Mm. Hmm. So what was it that was, that was uh, to use the word, retarding or slowing down what the Holy Spirit wanted to do? When you think mm. of the disciples, what comes to your mind? I was thinking there were several occasions where they were just fighting and bickering among themselves. Mm -hmm. and yeah. really prevented them from listening because <laughs> they were so focused on themselves and their, True, exactly. their own perspective of what they thought should happen. Right. Yep. Uh, what hit my mind was the fact that they had been so ingrained by the, the te false teachings of the day, really, mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. were going to have a king that was going to come and release them from Roman rule and bondage, and they would, you know, once again reign on the mm -hmm. earth and all that stuff. So when, when the Messiah came in the meekness and the humbleness that surrounded him and pervaded everything he did, they just couldn't accept him. Yeah. So their preconceived ideas limited them for receiving, from receiving Holy Spirit ideas and new ideas. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. so how many times do we do that where we have these preconceived ideas of how things should go or what we want and, mm -hmm. and then when God comes in a different way, we don't want it that way. We, want, we reject yeah. it. That happens. It does happen. Mm -hmm. You know, many times, even in ministry work, sometimes we, we want to go this direction, we want to do this for the Lord, but He's not blessing and we're like, mm -hmm. man, the Lord's not hearing us. <laughs> <laughs> as though the Lord needs to hear us, right? No, we need to hear the Lord. Yes. And so sometimes yeah. what's happening is we're, we're seeing we need to go this way, and really we keep going that way, and we realize, oh, the Lord is leading us this way. But our preconceived or our set 
uh, goals were so determined mm. that we weren't open to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And that was the problem with the disciples. They were so set in that direction. Mm -hmm. hmm. That's a good point. And, and we got to be careful not to do the same. Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. Rob, you want to pick up for us? Sure. We are on the borders of the eternal world, and we must have a testimony which all heaven shall be in harmony. The Lord is coming, and we must be ready. Every moment I want His grace. I want the robe of Christ's righteousness. We must humble our souls before God as never before. Come low to the foot of the cross, and He will put a word in our mouths to speak for Him, even praise unto our God. Amen. He will teach us a strain from the song of the angels, even thanksgiving to our Heavenly Father. We can do nothing of ourselves, but God wants to touch our lips with a living coal from off the altar. He wants to sanctify our tongues, to sanctify our whole being. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So he's not going to be satisfied until we are more like him mm -hmm. in character, right? Everything about us. And he wants mm -hmm. to sanctify our whole being. Yeah. And so mm -hmm. that, that means, literally, when we think of our whole being, that's body, mind, and spirit, right? Yeah. So that's going to be what we put into our bodies and how we take care of them. Mm -hmm. He's going to even have to perhaps change some of our thinking that way. Um, he'll, he'll want to e erode or, excuse me, eject the, the pains of the past, mm -hmm. uh, perhaps the emotional uh, baggage that people carry, the different kinds of things that people have in their hearts and their mm -hmm. minds. He wants to free us from that. So he wants to do everything because he wants to sanctify our tongues and he wants to sanctify our whole being. But it really seems as though it begins with that, that, that uh, sanctifying of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> because truly, if we have God's mm -hmm. thoughts in our, in, our, in our thoughts and we have uh, heaven on our mind instead of us and this earth on our mm -hmm. mind, then that will motivate us to have a, a different experience. And mm -hmm. that will not only motivate us, but actually we will have that different experience. Yes, definitely. You know? That's exciting. And that is exciting. That's yeah. what I want. I yes. want to be able to to be connected with the Lord every mm -hmm. day, you know? Mm -hmm. I don't want it to just to be something that happens one day a week. Yeah. Uh, what I've discovered is that, you know, I can't live a sanctified, connected life by just mm -hmm. getting enough food on Sabbath. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. possibly eat enough spiritual food on Sabbath yeah. to hold me over for the for whole, whole week. week. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's not gonna happen. Yeah, and so God doesn't mm -hmm. want us to binge feed Mm -hmm. and then fast spiritually yeah. for the whole week. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, we don't do that in our own lives. We don't say, you know what, I'm just going to have mm -hmm. a big, huge fellowship meal on Sabbath, and that should carry me through to next Sabbath. Right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, in a couple of days, you're going to be saying, I'm hungry. The problem is, spiritually speaking, we don't have a mechanism mm -hmm. that causes us to go, I'm spiritually hungry. Mm -hmm. And so we must constantly be feeding on that word. In fact, frankly, we should have a meal in the morning in His word. We should at least have a meal at night, and we should be tasting throughout the day. Mm. We should be eating throughout, snacking, if you will, on <laughs> something spiritual throughout the day. Unfortunately, the opposite happens. We're usually snacking on something of the world for the rest mm. of the day. So I want to encourage you to stay in God's word and to allow the mysteries of redemption to be opening up to your mind today. Mm. Today, I don't know what trials are coming for me, uh, for my, my brothers here, uh, or for my wife, or my children. I don't know what trials are coming for you, but I can guarantee you there will be some sort of trial because God loves us enough to, to allow us to go through trials because He wants to grow a character. Mm -hmm. If everything is perfect all the time, there's really nothing to try the character. Mm -hmm. And the reality is the character of a man is revealed not in the good times, but in the hard times. When things are going tough, when things aren't going the way that you want it, that's when character is mm -hmm. revealed. And so I want you to uh, think about heavenly things, be connected to the Holy Spirit, be open to having the mysteries of redemption taught to you, and, and think through the weekend, Lord, I want to be yours, and I also want to have uh, my mind totally open to you because I want you to change my tongue, sanctify it, make it holy, and I want you to make my entire being holy for you as well because I want to be like you, Father. God bless you, my friends, and remember, our Father cares, and He wants to spend time with you starting tonight all the way through Sabbath. God bless you and have a beautiful weekend. We'll see you Monday.